After a calm night in the Clarence and with a good forecast, it's time to leave on the last leg of our Tassie adventure. We follow the leads out across the bar and they keep us in unbroken water. Later in the morning and a breeze fills in, so we unfurl the Genoa. The calm conditions allow for a bit of work on the computer and we get another visit from some migrating humpbacks. Well that's Cape Byron, you can see in front of us the furthest easterly point on the Australian mainland. Once we've rounded that, we've got about another seven hours before we reach the Gold Coast Seaway. We've been away for 18 months and we've had a great time. But we're sort of looking forward to getting back home. Once we're back on the Gold Coast, We'll need to put the boat on the hard stand and do a few jobs to her. And we're going to travel a little bit by road as well. But after that, we'll be looking for a new cruising adventure. The sun sets as we pass Cape Byron, but conditions are excellent and we push on to the Gold Coast. We entered the seaway at 2200 and logged off with the tower and anchor off Wavebreak Island. Being home is a little bittersweet. We have many great memories of our trip south 
but have lots to do before heading north again next season.